yeah, hopefully a swath of productivity will approach. Yes, you can see, trying a little something different today. Um, yeah, I actually uh, thought about first doing this a while before Noah uh, launched his Take a Walk series. But, well, he was just much quicker at it doing it than I was. So, uh, uh, yes, I suppose I am technically copying his idea. But uh, I'll, I just hope that he, for his sake he won't uh, pursue legal action. Uh, anyway, yes, I, I'm going to call this, and I don't know how often I'm going to do this. It's probably not going to be very often, but who knows. But uh, I'm going to call my series Walk About, Talk About. Cute title, huh? Uh, but yes, I'm uh, just on a little walkabout, so uh, what am I going to talk about? Well, what everybody has been talking about lately. Uh, obviously, the, uh, the C word. You know which C word I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it's been uh, a couple of weird weeks, hasn't it? which I think is pretty much the understatement of the year. Uh, yeah, I, I've had a bit of a hard time dealing with it lately, uh, emotionally, but yeah, I think my emotions are leveling off now. I uh, I don't do really well with uh, not knowing how things are going to progress, you know, unpredictable things. I, I just don't do terribly well with. Uh, because of that, I've often wondered if I might be somewhere on the autism spectrum uh, probably on the extremely high-functioning end, but I've never been tested. My parents did want to test me when I was little, but they never did. Anyway, uh, that aside, uh, yeah, it's just been very, very unsettling. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the streets are pretty much empty. No pedestrians, uh, not a whole lot of car traffic. Uh, so, yeah, and, uh, of course, all the, uh, in Oregon, at the beginning of this week, they ordered all of the bars and restaurants to be closed. Uh, restaurants are offering takeout only uh, and delivery for those of them who uh, have the means to do that. Um, and record stores, that's another thing that uh, have, was kind of startling to me, obviously. Uh, the record stores in town and also most of the ones up in Portland, even, uh, have switched to, uh, they're, they're closed to the public and will be, they can do things by mail order. And also, they'll take orders over the phone for curbside pickup if a customer wants to come by and uh, pick up their stuff in person. So, uh, so yeah, I highly recommend, uh, if you've got a business, especially an independent business that's in your area, that's doing that sort of thing, you know, offering to-go orders or uh, delivery or curbside pickup or whatever it is, whether it's a restaurant, record store, bookstore that you like to patronize normally, um, take advantage of that offer because, you know, they're really going to be hurting for business with uh, with this shutdown that's going on all over the country, so they could really use your money. Uh, I plan on uh, taking advantage of that with House of Records, uh, a couple of new releases coming up in the next several weeks, assuming this lasts that long. I mean, you never know. Uh, but yeah, because yeah, they really appreciate their customers whatever customers they can get, so especially at a time like this. So, yeah, I highly recommend uh, supporting your local business. Don't go out in public, obviously, because uh, that's, well, for some places that's not going to be an option right now. So, uh, but yeah, patronize your local businesses. It's really important. But yeah, no browsing in the stores. All things are closed to the public. Uh, well, some businesses around here are uh, choosing to stay open. Uh, but yeah, I'm going by a lot of places and they're just closed. Like this uh, beauty salon here is just all closed up. And uh, one of the scary things, even scarier to me about the virus itself, or catching it or anything, is what it's going to be the economic fallout uh, in our country and in other countries. Uh, I just shudder to think at how many businesses are not going to be able to reopen after this. Um, I'm just I'm so glad that the government is offering amnesty and uh, leniency with regard to uh, small businesses and their lease payments, utility payments, um, private citizens with their rent, uh, you know, allowing forgiveness for that. Uh, so uh, hopefully that will go a long way toward uh, easing whatever recession 
might come of this, uh, which is probably going to be pretty big. I imagine there's going to be a lot of unemployment. Uh, yeah, you know, leaving aside the medical consequences for so many people out there. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm okay. I'm doing all right. You know, I'm, I'm actually still working. I'm on my lunch break from work. Don't know if it's the wisest thing to uh, continue to work right now. Although our building is closed to the public. Um, the place that I work at, it is uh, logistically difficult to completely close down operations. I'll just leave it at that uh, level of specificity. But uh, contact with other individuals has been scaled back a lot. So, uh, And so far we're all healthy. Um, of course, we can't get tested unless we show symptoms, of course, because the... Uh, the U.S. is uh, so far behind in uh, being able to offer test kits. The richest country in the world. Go figure, huh? Don't get me started on the government. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, but yeah, anyway, aside from that, uh, and that's what I've been trying to avoid, is, uh, you know, not just in my own head, but on this channel, because, hey, this is supposed to be a lighthearted channel, you know, music for fun, you know, uh, is I'm trying to avoid the doom and gloom. Uh, so yeah, um, and that's one other thing I was going to talk about was, you know, where is my channel going? I'm not totally sure. Uh, as you could probably guess, I've had a bit of a time concentrating on listening to new and recent music lately. Uh, but hopefully that will change. Um, you know, as I said, I'm, I'm getting accustomed to the unaccustomedable, if that's a word. Uh, you know, so yeah. Um, I think, yeah, things will, things will get better with my channel. I'm actually considering, uh, as I mentioned, I'm still at work for now, but I am considering taking a week off, uh, at least a week. <laughs> if I develop symptoms during that week, I'll be taking a second week off. <laughs> but uh, and during that time, I will hopefully take a lot of, uh, do a lot of videos. Oh, and speaking of House of Records, uh, here it is, right behind me here. Uh, they are, as I said, close to the public, but... Uh, I have talked about this store a few times, and uh, here it is. They just recently repainted. It was a dark blue with a red trim, but they yeah, they just re repainted. Nice looking color, but uh, taking a little getting used to with uh, the dark blue not being there anymore. Uh, it's, it was kind of a trademark, the uh, dark blue color, but anyway. So anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the... Uh, Filming. I hope to be able to film a whole bunch of stuff if I take this next week off, which I'm anticipating. Uh, yeah, I've got uh, my end of the decade spectacular-ish, which I hope to uh, been planning for months and months and uh, well, weeks and weeks, I guess. I'm completely ready to film that, uh, but I haven't been able to muster up the concentration to film that uh, until hopefully now. And uh, I'm ready to do my next A to Z and uh, also have. Uh, my next backtracks is pretty much ready to go, so I'll do that. And if I have the time off next week, I'll be able to listen to the rest of my bargain bag CDs and be ready to do the next bargain bag feature. So, yeah, hopefully a big swath of productivity will be in the offing very soon, uh, though I will try to stretch it out as much as I can, uh, you know, so that I can try and stockpile some content for you and keep things going at a regular basis. Because, yeah, the really scary part about all this is we don't know when it's going to end. Am I going to have to uh, hunker down and shelter in place for X number of weeks? Who knows? Uh, but for now, you know, my family and I, as I said, we're okay. We've got supplies to last us for at least a few weeks uh, so far. And uh, stores and stuff are still open for business. So, uh, yeah, we'll be able to you know, replenish our supplies if we need to. Hopefully before a lockdown, hopefully we'll have a uh, warning, enough of a warning to do that before any sort of lockdown happens. So, uh, so yeah, that's basically where things are at. I just wanted to touch base with you guys and just let you know how things are going and uh, apologize to you uh, for not giving you a video earlier this week like I had intended to. I was all ready to film my A to Z, uh, but uh, that didn't happen. I couldn't concentrate. Uh, and of course, you know, you have to be focused and in the mood to do a video or it's not going to turn out the way you want it to. So, so that's the reason for that. Uh, I'm just hoping that uh, House of Records and the other stores in town are able to uh, get through this uh, whole thing and survive it and uh, because I already lost one record store last year and I don't want to do that uh, again this year. So uh, you know, just had something really, really crazy happen nearly every year, haven't we? Um, 
And I was actually just thinking, thank goodness this coronavirus thing didn't happen uh, a year ago, as we were just a year ago, This at this time we were starting to dig ourselves out of the snow. So that would have been uh, really shitty, wouldn't it? So yeah, that's about it for now. I just wanted to uh, give you guys a quick video to let you know what's up with me and my channel. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not dead yet and neither is my channel. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's just, uh, I, I did think briefly about just shutting down my YouTube channel altogether because I wasn't able to concentrate. I was, uh, I keep thinking I was on the midst of, or on the, uh, cusp of a depression, almost. I was really having a hard time dealing with it, and, but then I realized my friends' YouTube videos are what keep me going, especially in crazy, nutty times like this, when you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, let alone next week. So, uh, hopefully... Uh, my viewers and subscribers, some of them at least, feel the same way about my videos, that uh, my videos help keep you going, that you look forward to them. And I hope that's the case, because that is, uh, the feeling is mutual, if it is. So, uh, but yeah, uh, I hope you guys are staying healthy and well, happy as you can be in, under the circumstances, because uh, remember that it's not just you yourself that's vulnerable to this virus, it's uh, passing it on to the ones you love, the ones that are important to you, uh, because uh, some of whose uh, immune systems might not be able to take it. So, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, do what you need to do to uh, protect yourself and your loved ones. I hope you're all happy and healthy, and uh, that's it for now. And uh, remember, life's too short to be a music snob.